California sea otters are actually listed as a threatened animal on the endangered species. One of the reasons for that is actually something that you can help us out with. If you have a cat at home, take your cat litter along with your cat fecal matter, place it in a bag, and send it off to a landfill rather than flushing it down the toilet system. Or your cat actually carries a parasite called Toxoplasma gondii. That's a huge word for a little tiny animal. But what happens is it survives and makes it out into the sea otter's environment and causes them a lot of problems. One of the many things that affects the otters in the wild is actually oil. Oil spilling uh, from our drilling rigs and also seeping up naturally from the ocean floor. You see, sea otter fur is the only way they insulate themselves from the cold ocean water. And if oil gets on that fur, it mats it or entangles it, and it makes it less warm to the sea otter. And eventually they can succumb to the cold ocean water. One of the other problems with oil on the otter fur is they spend about 30% of their day doing nothing but cleaning and grooming their fur. And they do that with their mouth and their front paws. And it only takes a little bit of oil in their mouth to cause them other problems inside as well. One of the ways you can help with oil entering the environment is to make sure that you recycle things like paper and plastic and household waste items. Other way is to make sure that nothing goes down your storm drain like paints or used oil or anything else that will make its way to the ocean to affect sea otters along our coast.